This is my new Alex Moss gimbal control board. It's for brushless gimbals. Um, bought it for $140 used. It has everything already soldered on. I have it connected to my computer already. This right here is the main board. This controls the gimbal and provides power to the motors. And then this is the sensor that you place on top of your camera to sense the attitude of the camera. I have it connected with a mini USB to my computer. This is from a GoPro. It's just a standard mini USB to USB. Um, so when you when I got this, I had to update the firmware and everything and install drivers. So if you want or if you comment, I'll I'll give you those links so you can download those. It's really simple. There's a YouTube video that uh, shows you how to in install the drivers and firmware. So I updated the firmware installed the drivers for this board on my computer and downloaded it's called the simple BGC GUI and that allows you to adjust the settings so right here I just have it in my downloads it's unzipped so I can just open this and then go to the application click click on it allow it to run and then what you get is this thing so can go ahead and connect to the board and now you can see these sensors are alive if I move them around it's sensing it you can see um, so here's a little sensor and I move it around you can see everything's moving around um, I haven't really messed around with this a lot but I don't have the gimbal yet I'll show you when I get the gimbal what that looks like I'm getting an RC timer GoPro gimbal so you can see all these settings, gains, um, such as basic gain settings, and then um, other stuff I haven't messed around with. And you can also control the gimbal through your um, through your uh, receiver. So then you can tilt the gimbal manually and everything to move move around shots and everything. And so. That's how you do that, and it also, you can connect it to your control board, so either like a KK2 or a NASA, and that uh, enhances the stabilization of the board. So, that's basically it. Oh yeah, you can also do real-time data, this is kind of cool. Move it around, and you can see what's happening. And the different colors are different axes. So, you can see I'm moving that a little bit, and I'm moving the other one different color. Yeah, so this is really cool. I don't really know much about this. Um, this is just a quick video showing you what this does. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them, but uh, I'm just learning how this works. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll give you more updates once I get my gimbal and my F550. Thanks for watching.